everybody! Today is a very special day. You know why? I have been sharing my recipe on YouTube for 10 years. 10 years anniversary. Can you believe? Time flies! Any of you guys are watching my videos for 10 years? You guys are my real friend. How do I look? I change, of course, everybody. In Korean, there is a saying, over 10 years, the mountain and river will change. Some of you grew up watching my videos. Mangchi, when I was young, I used to watch with my mom. But now, I don't live with my mom anymore. I just live independently. I'm still cooking your recipes. Isn't it cool? When I started my YouTube, I was playing, playing some game, online game. One of the characters, very tough character name is Mangchi because Mangchi in Korean is a hammer. And then I made my YouTube account and I used the same name because I couldn't think just quickly like a new name. So, okay, I'm playing Mangchi these days. Okay, Mangchi. What makes me really happy is that when I hear that, Mangchi, I made your recipes. I shared with my family and friends. They love it. Whenever I hear this, Oh my God, this is a good decision I made because a lot of people all around the world, they love that my recipe, they enjoyed Korean dishes. My first video 10 years ago, I was filming in Toronto, Canada. I lived in Toronto and my first recipe was spicy stir fried squid. <laughs> I don't know why I chose this dish. So today we are going to make Spicy stir fried squid, ojinger bokkum. So no matter you just started watching my video 10 years ago, 9 years ago, and even now, even today and tomorrow, always consider you are my real friend. In next 10 years, can I make this kind of a nice video? I'm not sure, but I'm living every single moment happy with my passion for cooking and sharing my recipes. I will keep making videos until I cannot make it. <laughs> I will bring my ojinger. It was a frozen, frozen squid, but I throw out in the refrigerator. So this guy is like almost half thaw out. Before cleaning my squid, I like to make a sauce and cut up all vegetables. Six cloves garlic. One teaspoon ginger. I had to watch my video just before filming today. Way of smashing my garlic ginger is the same. <laughs> Besides this knife, this knife the same knife I'm using. Today is on purpose I'm using. We are going to mix all seasoning here. And then I'm going to use Hot pepper flakes, gochugaru. It depends on how much you like spicy food. You can't eat any spicy food, use just no hot pepper flakes. But start with one tablespoon, two tablespoon, three tablespoon. Super spicy is a four tablespoon. I'm going to use three tablespoons. And soy sauce, three tablespoons. Sugar, two teaspoons. Just mix. This we're making garlicky and gingery, spicy, sweet and salty kind of paste. Okay. Next, I will just make a kind of what they say slurry mixture of water and potato starch. I'm going to use one tablespoon. Add a quarter cup water. Seasoning paste and the potato starch water done. And next, I will slice some vegetables. First, let's do green onion. So this is 12. Cut it up around two inch long. These green onions, when they are cooked, very sweet. And this is green chili pepper, really huge. I'm going to use just half. If you use at home, just only one green chili pepper use. It. 
I will use one onion around seven ounce. I'm using carrot for color, one small size carrot. Making thin strips. So now all these three things are done. Vegetables and seasoning paste and starch water. And then now main, main guy. Let's take care of main guy. Come on squid. <laughs> This is a one pound four ounce, but I'm going to all the clean the intestine and the eyes and mouth. After that, it's going to be one pound. First, cut from the, this part and don't cut through. Get open. This is all the intestine all together and then lift this and pull it out cut it up so this guy throw away and here remove the mouth and eye so here's to cut it up it is in half between these two eyes slightly not cut through like this and push east and west like that and then you will see it's an eyeball take it out and this is mouth take it out all this now clean and then here is a, this is a kind of bone uh, it look like some plastic so take it out and remove all clean I have some funny stories. I told you when I started my video, I just show exactly this kind of method, almost the same. And then uh, at the time, my one of my friends, game friends, he's still living in Montreal, Canada. And he all the time, every night we used to play together online game. And then I told him, hey, I just make the YouTube video. So my first video is, uh, you know, the squid. And then he watched this, he said, oh, I love it. But anyway, when you clean up, you just take it out, digging out or something, and then just eyeballs coming out. You. <laughs> we are chatting, you know, while we are playing game. And he said, you eat WW. <laughs> so I thought it really funny. I never forget. And let's wash this. This tentacle, the really small cups, filled with some mud so you need to ascend you need to clean up nicely I will put some salt here Around here, just connected this leg, just cut like this, and this part cut. And this whole body part, remove the skins. You can remove easily. See, start from the corner of this. If this is too slippery, you can use a paper towel, like this, paper towel. I like to score this, like a cut, score. 
Don't cut through and just score to make a nice shape. My first video 10 years ago, I didn't score. Usually when I make ojingo bokum, that way I'm making. But today I kind of make it really more fancy looking. That's why I'm just showing you how to score squid. We started from here, so now I'm going to turn around and then I will start it from here, so make it score. Opposite way. See, from here. Strip is like this, pretty, isn't it? And then I'm going to cut it this bite size pieces. This part is like this. We made all these nice strips. Time to cook. All prepared. So what we have to do is stir fry. <laughs> this is for four serving. You guys can, like all family, can enjoy this dish. You know, so I'm going to eat this with my rice and doenjangguk. You know, bean paste soup, and also I made some vegetable side dish too. My pan is heated. Let's add some oil, vegetable oil, one or two tablespoons. And then I will add all vegetables together. So fry until this onion is a little half translucent and green onion is wilted. Ten years ago, my video. And then I was stir frying like this, and fire alarm was just went off. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I didn't know what to do at the time. I didn't think about background, what it looked like at the time. I was salting my cabbage there. <laughs> onions are half translucent, and green onions are just a little wilted. So now, time to add squid. Time to add my squid. Add. And also seasoning mixture together. Wow, really smells good. Green onion and onions and sweetness going all mixed together. Potato starch mixture. Turn off. Done. This is my table setting. Today main side dish is ojingo bokkum, spicy stir fried squid. And this is a, a chive kimchi, buchu kimchi. And this is a zucchini, a stir fried zucchini with shrimp. And I'm making doenjangku because doenjangku is not spicy. It goes well with this kind of spicy, uh, spicy squid. And rice, multigrain rice. Let's have it together. I wish I could share all this food together and celebrate our 10 year anniversary today. YouTube 10 years, I never expected I have been doing for such a long time. Taste this soup first. <sighs> so good. This doenjangguk is calm down my throat. So go down, feel good. Mm. It's delicious. 
spicy and chewy and sweet. 부추 김치, 차이브 김치. 음. 음. Let's celebrate with this champagne. <웃음> oh! Wow! Oh my! <웃음> oh my God! Oh my God! It's unexpected. What happened? <웃음> my whole side dish is squid. Is all champagne. <웃음> wow! Anyway, I'll just pour some champagne here. Today we made a special side dish, spicy stir-fried squid, 오징어 볶음. Cheers to your Korean cooking. Wow, boom. Let's keep encouraging each other. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.